everyone welcome to solve this nice math olympiad algebra problem and here we have 27 to the power of x equals to minus x and we solve this problem for the values of x so here in this question we solve this problem for two methods and over here we solve this question for method number one so in the first method here we need to take the x root on both of the sides it means that we just take a, a 1 over x power on both of the sides so we write it as 27 power x into 1 over x equals to minus x and its whole power 1 over x okay in the next step uh, you see here this x is cancelled out by this x and we get 27 is equals to minus x to the power of 1 over x so now here we need some substitution so that uh, we take uh, here uh, uh, y is equals to 1 over x and this implies that the value of x equals to 1 over y and uh, sorry we take y equals to minus 1 over x so that we have uh, x is equals to minus 1 over y and now we substitute these two values to the above equation so uh, here we write it as uh, this implies that 27 is equals to so if you have x equals to minus 1 over 7 so minus x equals to plus 1 over 7 simply so we substitute this minus x equals to plus 1 over y and uh, its exponent is 1 over x so we take uh, 1 over x uh, is equals to minus y so this is minus y uh, because uh, if we have y equal minus 1 over x then uh, 1 over x equals to minus y so we substitute this value here and now we move this y to the upsides and it is written as y inverse to the power of minus y and here we use the nice property of uh, exponential law so according to this law uh, we multiply these two exponents and you get here y to the power of y so uh, now in the next step uh, we uh, rewrite this 27 in the form of fact prime factor so we know that uh, 27 equals to 3 to the power of 3 and we have y to the power of y and now by comparing both of the sides we easily get the value of y equals to 3 and now we back substitute the value of y so uh, here you see that uh, y equals to minus 1 over x so we substitute this value of y here and it is written as minus 1 over x equals to 3 and now we move this x to the right hand side and 3 to the left hand side then you get here x is equals to minus 1 over 3 so this is the uh, final value of x which we get from method number 1 and now in the next step here we discuss uh, this question again uh, by uh, second method so now we again solve this problem by second method so in the very first step in the second method is that here we divide both of the sides by 27 power x so when you divide both of the sides by 27 power x it is written as 27 power x divided by 27 power x is equals to minus x divided by 27 power x so now in the next step uh, here we need uh, more simplifications uh, and you see here we uh, these are cancelled by each other and we get here only one and in the right hand side we move this uh, 27 power x to the upside it is written as minus x into 27 power minus x so uh, in second method uh, we solve this problem with the help of lambert w function and you very well know about the lambert w function so uh, the standard form of lambert w function is if you have w of e a into e to the power of a so the output of this type of function is a it means that uh, here we make the exponential function with base e and its exponent is multiplied by here then we apply the w function and you get the output of this function is the a only okay so in the next step uh, here we need to apply this lambda w function on both of the side but first we make uh, this type of condition on the right hand side so here first we make the uh, exponential function with base e and uh, its exponent is multiplied by here then we apply this w function so here we have 27 and we write this 27 as e to the power of log 27 it means that if you can apply take the log and anti log at the same time then you get again 27 so now we replace uh, this now we apply this property of uh, uh, log or anti-log on this term 
okay so now we rewrite uh, this equation as so we have this is 1 is equals to minus x into we write this as e to the power of uh, log 27 to the power of minus x okay so here we uh, use the nice property of uh, log and uh, here we move this minus x in the front of this log and it is written as minus x into e to the power of minus x log 27 in the left hand side we have 1 so you see that you see that the exponent of e is this term but we have only minus x so we need this log 27 so that now we multiplying on both of the sides by log 27 so when you multiply both of the sides by log 27 it is written as log 27 equals to minus x into log 27 into e to the power of minus x log 27 so further uh, in the next step we are uh, we are just ready to apply the uh, w function on both of the sides so that here we apply this lambda w function and you have w of log 27 is equals to uh, w of uh, minus x log 27 into e to the power of minus x log 27 okay so uh, we first focus in the right hand side and we know about the output of uh, this lambda w function is the exponent of e or this term only okay so you have minus x into log 27 so this is the output of the above function and now we focus in the left hand side and we make the prime factors of 27 and we write this 27 as 3 to the power of 3 and here we again use the property of log and we move this 3 in the front of this log and it is written as uh, this is written as w into 3 times of log 3 is equals to minus x into log 27 okay so here uh, we again focus on this term and uh, on this three we can apply the log and anti log at the same time on this term so first we write this log three and now we take the log and anti log on this three and it is written as e to the power of log three okay so these are cancelled by each other and we again get three so this is equals to minus x log 27 and we write this 27 as three to the power of three so now we again apply the definition of uh, Lambert W function in the left hand side so that uh, the output of this function is uh, the exponent of e and exponent of e is only log 3 so we write it as log of 3 is equals to here we apply the uh, property of log and we move this 3 in the front of this log and it is written as minus 3 times of uh, log 3 into x okay so after uh, this step here we need to divide both of the sides by log 3 so that when we divide both sides by log 3 it is written in this form so this log 3 is cancelled out by this log 3 and we get 1 is equals to this is cancelled out by this and we have this is minus 3x so we move this minus 3 in the left hand side or you easily get the value of x is equals to minus 1 over 3 so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos